United AFSCME has been working with drivers across Chicago to build a powerful organization to advocate for drivers who for up to now and for far too long have been voiceless. The time for cab drivers to be voiceless is over. It's over now. For Chicago cab drivers, a hearing date at 400 West Superior is the last step in a process that effectively wrings their hard-earned income from them while denying them an avenue for due process, for due process or self-defense, simple protections that the rest of us enjoy, yet not part of a cab driver's daily life. There is no justice for cab drivers here. lease a cab or pay for a medallion. They work 12 hours a day, even more, six or seven days a week, trying to bring home a modest income to support their families. But this, but this thin margin for which they support their families is jeopardized by city rules, uneven enforcement practices, and hearing procedures that result in hundreds or even thousands of dollars in fines per year. The license sanctions and the hearing procedures here effectively deny cab drivers their right to defend themselves. Shut down the Uber! We met with the commissioner of the ACC. We met with the commissioner. We're saying that we need justice now. We need for drivers to have a seat at the table and make sure their voices are heard in a clear fashion. The 2012 reforms are moving people backwards, not forwards. Yeah. Immigrants come to this country for, and they expect fairness and justice and respect, and that is not what happens in this building. Yes. That must change. We have drivers here who want to speak. Uh, first, we have David Adenikon. We are Cap Driver United, building power to fight for our rights. We demand respect and justice. Never again shall we be divided. We are now united as a strong union. And we are saying no to jungle justice. At 500 West Superior, we have met with the Commissioner over this burning issue that she can fix now. Somebody say now. Now. We have made our demand known to her. And for your information, Madam Commissioner, we are not say, we are not taking no for answer. Yes. I say we are not taking no for answer. Yes. Enough is enough to join good justice at 400 West Superior. Yes. Enough is enough to back door as a exorbitant fine yes. by, by Chicago court system. Yes. Because this is not in our court justice system. Yes. We say enough is enough to presume guilt back it. Yeah. Even before, yeah. even before we see a judge, yeah. we say enough is enough. Yeah. So ticketing, to ticketing no. poor car drivers no. by, the, by the Chicago police yeah. without a just cause. Yeah. We say enough is enough to kick a record. We say enough is enough to kick a record. We say enough is enough to kick a record. And respect to the rules of the game. We just had to make a reliable source that Madam Commissioner will be meeting with the cab driver at her head this afternoon. This to us is another way of dividing us. But for your information, Madam Commissioner, and your boss, Mayor Ram Emanuel, we cannot be divided because Chicago cab driver has become an indivisible one family yeah. under the umbrella of cab drivers yeah. united together yeah. and we shall stand and fight for justice and respect yeah. enough is enough yeah.
My name is my name is David Adenakon, yellow cap. David Adenakon, A D E N E K A N, and we say enough. He say no. Let's go. Let's go, bro. The taxi industry contributes a great lot to the city of Chicago. But uh, we have heard from David and uh, Cheryl, we are not being treated fairly. Every day we work to keep the city of Chicago moving. But, 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 but the streets, we join targets on our back. When we receive a turkey complaint, it's not, I don't think it's on. When we, when we receive a ticket or complaint, regardless of whether it's true or not, we have no way to defend ourselves or our, our livelihood. The system here for, at 400 World Superior is set up to prevent drivers from ever having a day in court. The enormous fines and penalties are used by the city as a leverage to pressure drivers to settle and pay fines without making our case and uh, automatically Assume guilty. Where there is no cows. much pressure. We are cash cows. And the penalties are so high that you you will have a hard time finding a driver who has contested or who has contested his or her case. On top of the injustice here at 400 West Security, the city the city also issues tickets for parking violations without ever presenting else with a ticket. These flight tickets are mailed to our cab companies who then must present as with the ticket. By the time this happens, the ticket is often doubled and our window to contest our ticket has closed. But, but the struggles we face can be fixed. We have been meeting with the BACP Commissioner, Maria Gurria Lopasik, and we have outlined several areas that she can resolve today. The city of Chicago depends on cab drivers like us to keep our city desired tourist and conversion destinations. Chicagoans depends on us to get them to doctor appointments, get their kids to school safely and on time. They depend on us to get to the airport and home safely. We are a vital part of this city, yet we are not given the respect we deserve. That's right. We are cast aside as second class citizens, stripped of, our, of any due process and expected to stand by and take it. Today, we say enough is enough. 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 Enough Spell it. Spell it. A-K-E-N-T-E-N. I can't tell. I'm a lease driver. That's it. Thank you. We're done. We're done. The higher lady. The higher lady. The higher lady. The higher lady. Come on, higher lady. Hello? Hello? Hi, I am Cheryl Miller. I am a veteran cab driver. And like all of you, I am here because this system is broken. Yeah. 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 It is broken. Yeah. I won't repeat the, the, the issues. You heard the issues. The exorbitant and unfair time fines. And in 2012, the ordinance was rewritten and the language is vague. The mic. It's vague, ambiguous, and contradictory. It is so ridiculous that we routinely get tickets for picking up and dropping yes. off yes. our passengers. Yes. That is insane. Yes. Now, you heard of that we have 
have talked to the commissioner. We have met with her. She can fix this broken system. She has the power to clarify language so that it's reasonable. She can apply common sense standards. She has the authority. She has not, but she has the authority to do so. And she should do it now. Our legal system is based on the concept of justice. The underlying principle, fundamental principle, is that of justice. An unfair, arbitrary, contrary legal system is a violation of our civil rights. Yes. Yes. In a democracy, when one group's civil rights is degraded, it degrades the civil rights of everybody. We move Chicago. We drive Chicago. We carry the stories of Chicago. We are the heart of Chicago. Yeah!